Hello YouTube. We took this hatchet apart. So we're going to make a custom one. So we thought we'd show you how they put it together. This had epoxy in the top of it. Probably almost a half inch thick. And this is all the further it was on. We're going to make this go on further than this. See how deep that stuff was? Okay, it's just like a plastic. And I had to grind with uh, this. Get down here. And then with a pink stone. And then my bits that are in my... I put my cordless drill. Like I did that one the other day. Okay. Then we're going to saw this slot out. It's just got that plastic in it. Okay. Enough of that. I thought I'd show you how they put them together in case you want to try to take one of these apart. We want to make something better out of this. Something different. This thing weighs two. No. One and a quarter pounds. It feels like two or more. We're thinking about taking the top off. See. Maybe make it straight. Maybe make it curved. But the bottom. Can you see the scratch mark? You know angle it up. Because this is two inches wide. We want about an inch and a half wide. So we're going to level the top first. Okay. See if I can get it on my camera grid lines just for me. Level the top out first. Then make this design. This just scratched in here for the heck of it. So. It might not be too hard to do. You know. Cut in this way, cut in this way, and I don't have to do all that, you know, when you cut to make the curve thing, then you got to grant, we just cut over and meet with the same angle. So we'll have masking tape on, have that drawn as precise as can be, but we want this top level first. We decided we want the top straight across. It'll match that one that we worked on the other day, kind of. We just want the top straight across. It doesn't have to flare up. Because we want to get rid of a bunch of weight. So, there you go. Enough talking about that. Uh, probably, if I try to do more pictures than talking about it. But, uh, we'll try to snap a few extra pictures on this one. What it looks like when this is cut off and as we go through it. So, stay tuned. It won't be a big, long video. I'm going to try to keep it under like six minutes. Okay. Cut off later. Sanding disc in a file. Not too bad. See, it looks better already squared away at the top. That would give you a short, short little clip there. Okay, here's my idea. About like that. Cut out where the masking tape is. I can't give the exact measurements right now, but that's pretty close. So just imagine moving that much, which won't be hard. Just cut up this way, right? And cut this way to cut this first, cut this angle second. And we don't want to be too close to the hole where the handle goes on. So it's all approximate. Okay, we're going to set down a piece of scratch paper and write down some measurements. We're going to get rid of the curved edge. It's going to be a squared edge. Top looks really nice. I don't even know if they made a clip on the top yet because I started on this yesterday, but... The top's been cut and leveled off and filed. See that? Okay, let's get to work. We want to make this quick. Quick and short video. Okay, the light don't get blown out. See where I left that? I'm going to hack on the rest of that. I had masking tape on both sides. Okay, so I was looking. I cut and stopped and looked underneath. Because I messed up on here. I did cut this crooked a little bit. Because I was cutting this from one side. So you got to be aware. You know, you can go this way. It's, it's kind of hard to tell when you're outside goggles on and everything. But uh, we're still trying to decide if we want a square edge or curve on the hatchet. I'm kind of going with leaving it with the curve. This ain't the final, final cut there. And this does go a little bit wider here than it is back here. I did that kind of for the design, but... It does not have to be perfect. It will be a working tool and you won't really notice it. So we're going to hacksaw it. And it does hacksaw pretty good with the blades I'm using. 
the ones I was telling you about that seem to work really good. Okay, let's get back to work. Okay, we are done. And this will be uh, the video will just be on this. We'll make a separate one when we put the handle on it. But for keeping the curved edge, you would lose way too much you tried making that straight. Besides, it looks okay that way. This is only polished with all my abrasive wheels. If you look in there, you'll see a lot of small pits like this thing was sandblasted. So, a few defects where I chopped it off. Not perfect. You're not going to really see that. The top's a little, I spent a little more on the top. But we're, we're not going for perfect here. We're going just for the style and how it works. There you go. We'll slip it on the handle. Believe it or not, this head gets bigger at the top, so we gotta do a little work on the handle. Get you up in the air here a ways. You get kind of an idea of what it'll look like. I think it'd be pretty nice. It's a lot lighter. Uh, where it balances out, I really can't tell you because we have to fit it on the handle first. This is not a light handle on this thing, I know that. It'll kind of be around close to the just the bottom of the head. Even when it's on there. If that means anything, I know people show that, I would, you know, to me I'm just kind of ignorant when it comes to that. I gotta go how it feels. You know, if you get up here it's gonna feel lighter. If you out here you got the way to handle. So, it's a lot lighter. I think this is gonna be a nice chopping. This could just be for chopping up stuff. Uh, split a little small kindling but I want to chop it so the next video or so we'll be making this edge super thin so thanks for watching and I'll leave you plenty of pictures